Uh, if you could swap bodies with any player for a whole day, live, live your whole life in their shoes, who would it be? Who's going to finish ninth this year? It won't be Richmond because they got stuck there for a little while, didn't they? Uh, who do you reckon the first player to be done for umpire descent will be this season? How would you have gone back in the day with umpire descent? Oh, oh sh**. Yeah. <laughs> G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today, I have a pretty special video. It is myself and Connor Rogers going around the Fox footy launch and asking some of our favourite commentators and favourite experts some silly season predictions questions. We really appreciate Fox Footy for having us down. I cannot believe the season is a week away. I am beaming with excitement. It's nearly here, boys and girls. It's nearly here. All right, let's not waste any more time. This is Roaming McDonald and Roaming Rogers going around and asking our favourite Fox Footy experts some silly season prediction questions. So, uh, obviously, big season ahead, guys. Uh, who do you reckon is going to be finishing in ninth place this season? Richmond. Richmond, yeah. <laughs> Go back to old tradition. <laughs> Who is going to finish ninth this year? Um, it won't be Richmond because they got stuck there for a little while, didn't they? Gaz said Richmond. Um, no, I reckon, I reckon Carlton will finish ninth again. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Rod won't like that. He's going to finish in ninth place this season. Oh, you never want to finish in ninth, do you? No. I was at Carlton last year. I'm going to go Port Adelaide. Ninth. Jeez. You know what? I've got a sneaky suspicion... Swans just might because someone's got to fall out of the eight, and I'm looking at it. I'm thinking it's a bloody good eight from last year, so someone's got to fall out. I'm just I'm going to tip Sydney, who are just going to miss out. So that's my tip. That's my tip. That's not going to go down well with Tom Harley, who's a great mate who's running the Swans. But um, yeah, after last year's granny, they might just take a year. First off, off uh, who do you reckon will finish in ninth place this season? Ninth place. Well, in the old days, we would have just locked Richmond in. Yeah. Unfortunately, we can't do that anymore. Um, I think Port Adelaide will just miss out, to be honest. So I'm going to go with Port Adelaide. All right, lads. The big prediction: who is going to finish ninth this season? <laughs> well, Richmond. No, they, don't they finish ninth every <laughs> yeah. every season? They could be a chance. No, nah. they're more. They're, no, nah. Hawks. Probably not. Oh, I should say secure. I think I think Collingwood will finish ninth this year. That would be controversial. <laughs> we'll be, we'll be. Yeah. yeah, not sure. Uh, that's a good question. I'll go with Collingwood. Kingy, who do you reckon is going to be finishing in ninth place? In ninth place, uh, I would say Port Adelaide, and that'll probably force them to sack. Finish in ninth place this season. Uh, Port Adelaide will finish ninth, and they'll have a big dilemma: can Hinkley keep him or not keep him? So I'll go for Port for ninth. And uh, who do you reckon the first player to be done for umpire descent will be this season? Toby Green. Even though he's even, the, the skipper. even though with the captaincy responsibilities, I think if it walks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, it's <laughs> who's the first player who will get done for umpire descent this season? Uh, uh, Sam Collins. We, was, we were actually spoke to him a couple of weeks ago. He's an angry unit, and he's got red line fever big time. Uh, umpire descent. You know, are you not allowed to say anything anymore? <laughs> yeah. like, How would you have gone back in the day with umpire descent? Oh, oh shit, yes. <laughs> I gave away, I think uh, between myself and Matthew Richardson, we've given away that many 50 metre penalties for umpire <laughs> descent. It's a joke. Um, you know, players are pretty good this nowadays because you just learn. You can't say anything, literally. You say boo to an umpire yeah. now, it's like, yeah. Jesus, come on, lads, just yeah. have, a, have a relax. Yeah. Um, I guess the most fiery person out there... I right, if things go wrong, I think Dusty might still give him a bit of a spray. <laughs> Toby Tate. Green would be... Ca- yeah, I, don't, I think he'll be more responsible this year. Tommy Hawkins, but he, he's going to be injured yeah. at the start of the season as well. He, he never gets a free kick paper. Yeah. Someone who argues a little bit back to the umpires. Clayton Oliver. <laughs> yeah, you've got no idea what he's saying, <laughs> but it's demonstrative. <laughs> Well, I know that Dougal Howard's quite lippy at St Kilda. He does get he gets snarky quite a lot, so he might uh, he might have a bit of work to do down in the back line. So maybe Dougal Howard, Toby Green, even as skipper, as skipper, just to show that he's he's still got it. Yeah, he hasn't changed. Still you can't fault him for that. Oh well, everyone's probably said James Sicily, have they? No, no, and you're okay. The first. Well, I won't do it then. Um, <laughs> all right, James Sicily. Beautiful. Even as he's a skipper now, isn't he? Yeah, he's you reckon even now. as skipper? Yeah, no. Well, if he's got to assert his influence because. The squeaky wheel gets the oil. Yeah. So you give, sometimes you give them a spray early and uh, you, you get a bit going your way after. If you could swap bodies with a current AFL player, who would you want to be? Ooh, a current player. And in the past, I'd swap bodies with Cuda. Like, Cuda yeah. was a unit. Um, I don't know. Who's got, the, who's got the rig to die for at the moment? Like a track, a Bailey Smith. 
Oh, Bailey Smith's got his, <laughs> his, his, he's got the uh, six pack or the eight pack gun, hasn't he? Then the last one we got for you is uh, if you could swap bodies with any player for a whole day, live, live your whole life in their shoes, who would it be? Nathan Buckley. Paddy Cripps. Um, I interviewed him when he first started. And I remember thinking, you know, I'll go up, say good day to him. And he was bigger than me. I thought, this is the bloody midfielder. Um, imagine being six foot four and being able to run through the midfield and bash bikes up the way that he does. Um, I've got a secret man crush on him. Uh, now that Joel Selwood's retired, he's now my favourite yeah, player. Who would you want I'm going to gonna go Sam Draper. Love that. Him? Because I think everyone loves him. That's so awesome. So you're, you're well liked. you got the hair. You, 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 you're tall, you stand out. Yeah, I'm going to Sammy Draper. Yeah, he's got it all, the Drake man. I reckon the way Jamara's been swanning around here today, yeah. just with all, with everything that's ahead of him, the natural attributes that he's got, yeah. pretty similar size, skill and ability and yeah. looks as me, so I, I, might, I might be a Yugle Hagen Lovely. for the day. Um, what current AFL player would you love to swap bodies with for a day? <laughs> Uh, it's a good question. Yeah. You, these, these are questions you need time to think uh, about. There's a couple of free. I'll go first in time. I'd, Jager O'Meara or Nat Fife. Oh, yeah. yes. I'd, I wouldn't mind a rig like that. So yeah. I'd take one of those boys over there in Perth. Probably Bucks, to be honest. He's still a good yeah, yeah, no, was not he? Oh, he took his shirt off before. Yeah. He's got the pecs. And yeah, he's, got, he's got the arms. Uh, yeah, Nathan Buckley would be mine. Jake Stringer. Really? Yeah, I think that he still enjoys himself. Yeah. And, and I think that's what I'd want to do. Swap bodies with... Um, Jeremy Cameron, maybe. Who else has got a good rig? Uh, I, I like a bit of height. Yeah. I don't. I don't want to be like Lockie Deal is great, yeah. and he's got a great rig. But I don't know if I want to be like I want to be six three, six four, maybe. Cooter. Yeah, yeah, Cooter. Charlie Kerno. Yeah. I could be Charlie Kerno. Um, Joe, I would say, say Joe Danaher, but it breaks down. Yeah. So you don't want the rig that breaks down. You want the you want the durable rig. So you're yeah, tall, muscly. Uh, but not injury prone is what I'm going for. So there you go guys, that was myself and Connor going around asking some silly season predictions. How good of a sport was everyone at Fox Footy? They gave us all the time in the world and it was great to meet some people that we really, really look up to. Plenty more content coming on the channel soon. I'm trying to get a parody done in the next week. It's almost an impossible feat. It usually takes me a few weeks to get these parodies done, but I wouldn't mind bringing out like a, a bit of a season prediction song. Uh, between now and next Thursday. It might come out on Thursday, to be honest. I'm pretty keen to fire up some goal kicking challenges very soon. I'm on the lookout for Dosso's Demon's next opponent, so that's pretty exciting. I'm also gonna fire up the AFL live stream. A couple of years ago, I would do every Friday night match, and then it transitioned into every D's away game. That's the games that I would live stream in the last couple of years, but I really wanna fire it up again and um, be a little bit more consistent with the live stream. So that's something that I'm looking to do more this year as well. And we're gonna have an update on Goes All Right in the next couple of weeks. We'll let you guys know what the go is with the pod this season. Once again, I appreciate all the support. I appreciate everyone tuning into the videos and we'll see you all for some more content very soon. Cheers.